Everything you see in this picture, that tree, those leaves, the people on these bikes, all of it, at its most <laughs> basic level is made up of those tiny particles we have all learned about called atoms. Now imagine one elusive subatomic particle, a basic building block of all this stuff, really. This speck is something called the Higgs boson, and now some scientists think they have found it, or at least gotten closer. For physicists like Nicholas Hadley at the University of Maryland, this is a big deal. It's the particle responsible for giving all the other particles mass. So that makes it very important because obviously we do have mass. One tiny, tiny, tiny particle, explaining why everything in the universe from atoms on up has weight. One of the mysteries of the universe explained. The narrowing hunt for the Higgs boson came about using this, a massive $10 billion accelerator smashing protons near Geneva, Switzerland. So through Einstein's E equals mc squared, if you have really high energy, that's the E part, you can make heavy things, m, and the Higgs is heavy. So the difficulty is <clears throat> that the Higgs is produced infrequently, I would say, once in less than every a billion collisions. There is still more research to be done, but as scientists get closer to the particle, what happens? It won't change our everyday lives. This is about amassing knowledge about the origin of, of mass and the origin of the universe. If we find it, it's existed for, you know, for essentially forever since the beginning, um, so that therefore nothing will really change because we know it's there. The stuff physicists dream of. Big Bang Theory stuff, God Particle stuff, helping fill in the blanks on how all of this exists. Lee Powell, The Associated Press.